Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of a new series. Yep, a new series, unexpected series, but that's because I was invited recently to the Minecraft fan server, and that is where I am right now. As you can see, there's a lot of people on. Tib, the birthday boy, is here. <laughs> it's his birthday today. Hi, boy, Purple Nepenthe, Monkey DK, the server owner. Dead Pocket and Brian MCN, as well as myself, we're all here on the fan server. And Ray, my teammate, uh, told me that everybody that was on the server already was given the opportunity to invite somebody else onto the server. And some of them are hosting servers, uh, not servers, hosting contests for their slot. But Ray, Gave his slot to me and since purple was already on the server because she was invited by somebody else I accepted and here I am yep and this in particular is my plot I chose chose it yesterday and as you can see it's very dark and unlit and that is because of the theme I'm going with this plot and this plot and that theme is, of course, Dungon claims the dangers of plot 404. Beware what will follow. Yep, this is plot 404. I cannot speak at all. Wow. 404, 404. And I chose this because it was free. First off, it was free on the bulletin board. And because 404 is... Uh, dang it, wording. Nostalgic with the 404 challenge where you're given one day to collect stuff on the surface and then you go down a gravel hole and then you can't come out ever again. So this that's the theme for this plot. The gravel hole will be right here, which is a natural hole in the landscape. And the reason why it's so dark is because in the 404 challenge, you can only use lava lighting to light it up. Oh, oh, I'm going to die. Yep, I'm really going to die. Let's take out that guy first. There we go. So yes, you can only use... There's another skeleton, dang it. Ooh, yes! Sweet! <laughs> Five iron saved. But you can only use lava lighting, and that's what I'm going to use for this plot. And that's why I spent most of my iron on buckets. And I've been bringing up water, uh, not water, lava from the surface below. And this is only going to be lava lighting eventually. Right now I'm a little bit resource... De Dang it. Stupid. Stop it. Stop. You're ruining the flow of everything. I hate you. Like, there. Goodness. So yes, lava lighting only. Unfortunately, there are torches already here. Uh, ooh, is this enchanted? No, it's not. Oh well. But I do have a free bow, and it's better than rotten flesh. <laughs> so I'll take it. So I removed the torches. I invested the torches in... In the nearby plots, like over here. Well, this is not a plot, though. But I invested torches over here and over here, so the mobs that were swarming in me, swarming me from these spots and killing me, maybe like five times last night. Yeah, probably about five. They came from up these other plots more than my own, and they swarmed me and killed me so many times because I was in was armorless and deprived of iron. I did start start to dig this hole. Um, I found a little bit of iron, but you can see the lava lighting, and it's not fully complete. But I'm getting lava elsewhere, and down this hole, and that's another reason for me choosing plot four or four is what I plan to do on the server. Typically, in the past, I've not been 
active on SMP survival, my survival SMP much, my lava source place, because I don't know why, but it's like maybe a feeling where I can't save it and that makes me turn away. Like my single player world, I had that for almost a year now, but SMP, I've been on many, many different survival servers. And the reason for that was probably maybe because I can't save it or I don't really know. But on this world, since it's SMP and there's a lot of people, I plan on interacting more. And my builds would be more builds to interact with others. Like, for example, this plot, plot 404, will be a mini adventure uh, based, uh, inspired by the original 404 challenge, Spirit Torches. But, crazy Enderman. Yeah, I've been mel I've been eating melons, but I removed where the farm was. So, but yeah, so my plans are to have builds that interact more with others, like combo doors with clues to how to get in, and rewards to get in, uh, rewards once you get in, and generally interact with everybody else online and not worry about fancy farming that I don't that would reserve for single player because um, it's better for single player and other like keep SMP put the multiplayer back into it and that's my goal for this and my immediate goal is to get away from this plot because I'm very low on resources and the caves below are very very poorly lit like one torch every 20 blocks so you, it's still is dark enough for mobs to spawn like crazy and people really need to learn how to cave in particular how to light up caves when you're actually in there and it's near death every time I go down and there's no reward hardly any iron at all this is a lot of hunting they left all the coal which is what, exactly what I don't need for this plot, but ah, people need to learn how to cave. But my immediate goal is to get away and head to coordinates 2170x, 2170z, which is that direction, and to see what's out there. And I'll have to do that off camera because that's quite a distance away, but I'll meet you over there. I did get a record from a creeper. There's that many mobs. But I'll meet you over there at that specific coordinate. So let me take my awesome pick. Let's craft some armor. Fortunately, we saved on the helmet. This is so you don't die. And which else should we bring? Dang it. So I'll meet you right back over there at where my future base will be and after I explore around and see if anybody else is actually out there because it's possible somebody else already is but I won't speculate until I'm already there so I'll meet you there now. So before I leave I will just want to explore spawn real quick with the multiplayer goal in mind and just take a look at the few houses. Well, I go to one house, well, maybe two, but one house in particular is top priority. And because this is my second try recording on, on the fan server, and uh, the first time I really didn't like how it turned out, so I tried recording again. And right now, and but, but the biggest thing that happened in the last video was I went to visit Ray's house. And that was because he invited me, he was the one who invited me on, and the reason why I'm here. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to him for that reason. And okay, we're okay, yeah, no, I know where I am now. So his house is right over this hill. This looks like Geo's house, Tid's Biggle. Actually, I would do want to make sure it is. Haha. <laughs> Yes, he likes that modernistic style, and it always turns out really, really good, actually. Except for the glass panes. Glass panes are pretty 
I still don't like glass panes and builds. I don't know why they just look thin and flimsy. I like my panes bulletproof. On mask could take a lesson because you can't throw bricks through glass panes. Ah, <laughs> he had a prank on him where Daiju threw, quote, a brick through his glass windows. And <laughs> so, so yes, yes. Ray's house. Where is it? That looks cool. I'll have to admit that. There's a huge lapis chair here. Um, where is it? Okay, yes, this direction feels right. I believe it's more to the right still. Mm hmm. Um, well, cut and meet you there. Or we could just take a look around at more houses. This is Onmast House, in particular. YouTube.com slash Onmast. And died through a brick through one of those windows. It seems that he did upgrade to some bulletproof windows right here. And brick proof windows, I might add. And I'll have to uh, come and repair his windows if he doesn't do it himself. <laughs> Man, look at all these weak windows everywhere. And it's snowing. Oh yes, here it is. Here it is. That's not it. Right over here. All oh, this snow and rain. But his house is right here. He built around the natural landscape. It reminds me of falling water in a way. Holy cow, that is huge. But, but all the dirt is natural. He did not move or touch any of it in his build. He hid all the torches beneath all these leaves and he built around it and oh yeah that's not a way up I remember something's going on but here we go here's Ray's house or Pregoda or I sh I'm, an, I'm an architect student I should know the names of these things but they have yet to teach me this sort of stuff I'm hoping next semester is better and will fit it better but I can agree with this sign right here coolest house on this server and it is indeed I very much like this build it's very inspiring and very well done so I want to see if I could find purple's house purple nepenthes and if not we'll meet I'll meet you over at the spot far away uh, 2170 comma 2170 but if so I'll meet you at her place found it I think yep here's purple I think right beneath me see if there's a way in is it right here yeah it looks like it yes this is ha Hi purple. Hello. I like this place. Um she said like where is it? But she wanted a straight run through all her chest and like straight run and then she has all her chest whoops in a line like this through the wall so you could access it from this side of the wall or the other side of the wall yeah right here here's the straight run so you, you can run down here and then access the chest very quickly and then run back and do whatever but she's a really cool basement going on here ooh even a full set of books it's pretty nice really like it down here I like the touches of wool she has and green and brown two my two favorite colors okay so she wants to go to the ender farm to enchant something and 
I'm going to follow to see where it is because it'll be nice to know where the ender farm is. Enderman farming is the only way. Um, hmm. <laughs> I might be a little bit stuck here. Okay, you waste the dirt. But I do want to know what the ender farm is, and enderman farming is the only way I really like gathering experience because all the other ways are too slow and involve being AFK. And I don't like being AFK, just the experience grind. Just not very fun or cool at all. Oh, hello, dead pockets. So I'm going to follow to see where this ender pearl farm is. And maybe get some enchantments on my bow or pick or sword, uh, get some iron swords and the armor. At least some level 1 enchants going on. So... So I could see where this is all at. And I, I also need to learn how the nether portals work on the one, uh, the fan server here. And because I want to hook up, I would prefer to hook up my plot way out there with the portal that links directly to the 404 challenge plot, as I'll call it. So, uh, to see what's, see the status on that. So I'll meet you at the Ender Pro Farm, or, yep, meet you there. I just had an awesome idea, a, ro a like Space Mountain roller coaster in the end. Yes, I'm absolutely building that in this server. That would be pretty sweet. I'm quite inspired now. That yes, ideas. So I'm done grinding, um, interesting story, when Purple left, she went to the main island and the ender, enderman grinder right here stopped completely, there's absolutely none left, I'm not making them all mad aren't I, but I'm at level 41, or 42, and that's the best level to enchant a bow, according to this one site I just went on, but 
for infinity that is I want an infinity bow because I'm fairly fairly short on arrows three so come on infinity dang it well I have one more chance next to the skeleton so hmm yeah I might grind because it's very fast very efficient and they hit me through the walls and look level five already so I'll have to grind another one then so my grinding this time is cut short because I will starve to death if I keep grinding still so I'm going to just enchant at this level 32 and see what I get so let's come up here up over here up and around to here and level 32 will I get the almighty infinity dang it no I won't well oh well power 5 is good enough for now I'll st store away power 3 for anybody else it is power 3 right yes it is and take the minecart back and get some food and then go to the special coordinates so I'll see you over at those coordinates So I'm here, 2170, right at this log plank, 2170, 2170, X and Z. Not quite sure. I asked five people if we we're allowed to explore out, and they all said pretty sure. Um, don't go too crazy, and I don't think this is too crazy. But I'm out here, and this mountain looks like a great place to start a base right ooh yes I quite like the looks of this and with silk touch on ice coming soon another good thing but this looks like a good place to set up a base there's already empty caves there's pigs still hi pig but it looks like this place is good to go so I'm quite excited to get building and exploring and well not exploring really but um, uh, get the multiplayer back in SMP. Ooh, lightning glitch, but this looks cool. So, thanks for uh, watching this first episode on the fan server. Thanks again to my buddy Rayman for getting me whitelisted and inviting me on. I'm quite happy about that still, and I will see you all next time.